Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It happened. This is something that nobody was expecting, but Louis Vuitton decided to discontinue all the toiletry sizes. However, I was very, very lucky to get one of them. So if you wanna see which one I got, keep watching. and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber I'm so excited that you are back if you are brand new this is the right place I love everything luxury handbags lifestyle beauty makeup everything that you know as girls you know love so welcome and I hope that you are here to hear a little bit more about the latest news which is that Louis Vuitton as of last Friday, they have discontinued all the toiletries in all three sizes, the 15, the 19, and the 26. And was this shocking? Yes, but no. And let me tell you why. I think that we started to hear some rumors in the beginning of the week. Um, people were asking because some of the websites in Europe did not show you know that the toiletries will not show up and some um cas were telling their customers that yes indeed they were being discontinued uh, however we didn't think that this was going to affect the us um as of, as of friday i was on discord and um finally foxy lv which is you know if you want to know anything about lv uh, latest news, discontinued items. She is the queen of information. She is the number one person I go to when I need to find out if something is true or not. So we were having a discussion on Discord and indeed she confirmed Friday morning that Louis Vuitton discontinued all three sizes of the toiletries. So that was one of the items that was on my wish list so immediately i went online i checked it was not on my wish list i did a search and it was already removed from the from the website so of course i wanted to make sure that i got the 26 something that i've been sleeping on it because to be honest i thought oh this is a permanent item i know that it's kind of hard to get but at the same time you know I'll just get it at some point. So I was just kind of procrastinating, putting it on. But then when I heard that it was going to be discontinued, I went into panic mode and it was like, okay, game on. And I literally started texting, emailing, um, private messaging, every single CA um, that I had contact for and I finally, I think about Friday afternoon, received an, a text message from SCA. I don't even remember where, but she was really kind and she's like, no, I don't have any available. Um, but here she sent me the list and she's like, these are the locations that is showing, you know, some available. So again, um, I didn't really have any contact information for those particular stores. So I started asking, you know, on the Facebook groups and I, Foxy LV, if she had any contact information. I also went on Instagram. Guys, let me tell you one thing. Instagram is a great source of information just to even, you know, get um, CA's contact information. So if you do a search by Louis Vuitton or LV or um, um, what else? Client Associate um or lv customer service so long story short i think that i reached out probably about 45 50 different sales associates or um client associates so long story short i had one of them um texted me back and she said i have one but I just left the store i will be in the store tomorrow morning and as soon as i get there i can send you the link and you know it's yours so obviously i was super excited i went to bed and i wasn't even thinking about it i did set my alarm you know early because she was on the um 
East Coast and I want to make sure that I didn't miss her text because I wanted to pay that invoice you know I think you have 15 minutes to pay so as soon as I get up you know within a few minutes she texted me and she said oh my gosh I'm sorry but uh, you know after I left somebody sold it so I was devastated and I definitely thought okay you know I don't think there's you know a way that I'm gonna get it because by you know the time that all the stores open at least the six that i knew that they were available six or eight that i knew that they were available they probably were going to be gone so um i was okay so i started you know getting my coffee ready i sat on my couch and i get a text message and this sales associate says to me i just get to the store i have one and he started sending me pictures of it and i was like yes i want it um just send me the invoice i didn't even look at the pictures i i just wanted it so let me show it to you it's right here and this is i'm gonna just take the ribbon and it is right here and this is actually a first impressions um because i haven't even seen it this is the first time for me seeing this so here it is oh this is nice he put some paper and this is probably the receipt yes and it came all the way from Cincinnati and here oh and there are some perfume samples right here really nice how sweet okay that's very nice and right here nice and here it is the toiletry 26 oh my gosh how cute this is beautiful as you know it's all made out of uh, one canvas piece here are the size and this one is uh, made in is spain i was gonna say España. Spain and let's see if it has a date code or if it has a chip oh it has a date code and this was made on the 17th week of 2021 so still has a date code as you as you know and the inside is a wipeable material here has the little paper and this one is five hundred and eighty dollars plus tax this is just the little um item number which it is obsolete so it doesn't matter anymore if you want to look it up online you can't this is just the textile car um so i'm very very excited um to be honest it feels a little flimsier than i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a little bit more um like the canvas was going to be a little bit thicker but it's okay i have it and i'm not going to complain about it so like i mentioned this one um the toiletries come in three sizes the 26 the 19 and the 15. i have the 15 which i showed you not too long ago and here's the video if you want to see it um so this is just for you know you to see the size difference there's one in the middle that i'm trying really 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 hard to pay and i definitely don't want to pay a premium i might i don't know but i th i feel that i don't know that i would use the 19 um as much because as you know i like smaller bags this is just perfect and this one I'm going to be using as a clutch or as an actual toiletry when I travel. So let's talk about why Louis Vuitton is discontinued this item. Uh, like I said, I was shocked. Nobody was suspecting it. If anything, to me, I was expecting for them to discontinue this. To discontinue the pochette accessories. This is something that I feel that maybe is the next item. Call me crazy, but it could be the next item that Louis Vuitton might discontinue. I haven't heard any rumors or anything, but everybody knows how hard 
the toiletries are to get. So what is it that makes this piece so attractive? First of all, is the um, versatility. The price point is $580. And there's a little bit of con um, controversy about how this is being used. And, and one of the uh, rumors of why Louis Vuitton decided to discontinue this item is because they don't like the fact that a lot of people are turning this into a bag. As you know, you've probably seen it in many, many, many videos or Instagram or Pinterest. Um, this item can be transformed into a bag. And some people think that it's tacky. Do you think that she was tacky when she used it as a clutch? Absolutely not. She was a fashion icon. Oh my goodness. Just the fact that I can have this piece that she had, that's what to me was the most important thing. Just to have something that, you know, our beloved Lady Diana used as a clutch and she was just probably the pioneer into, you know, giving a different life to, you know, some of the Louis Vuitton items or any fashion items. So, like I said, some people buy the insert and they put the insert, they put a long strap or they put a short chain and it looks absolutely beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And don't come at me if you see this on my Instagram feed with a, with a chain or something like that. I don't necessarily think that I would use it as a bag or crossbody maybe maybe very 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 occasionally because this is it this is the reality as far as as much as you can put the insert and you have the the little d-ring coming from here uh the majority of the weight you know is is put on the zipper so yes you have the chain or the strap and that gets lifted and what is holding all, all that weight, this is what happens. See, right now I have my finger. So imagine that I have an insert with, a, with D rings and you have a strap. So if you put a lot of weight, the canvas and the zipper fabric are gonna start to give. So I definitely don't want that to happen because it is discontinued. So this is not an item that you can't replace if that happens. If the canvas cracked, LV won't touch it. I mean, if the zipper gets damaged or stretched, they might replace it. But if the canvas start cracking, they won't even touch it. So it will be absolutely ruined. At the end of the day, to each their own, if that's what you enjoy, sorry, I'm trying to make sure that my camera is still recording. If that's what you enjoy, absolutely. You spend your money, you do you, and if you want to use this as a clutch, as a toiletry, as a handbag, go ahead. I will personally will be very, very cautious because I wanna make sure that I maintain the structure and, um, and that I don't damage the canvas or the zipper fabric. So to me, that's something that I will definitely keep in mind. So I also wanted to talk really quick on about what are some items that you can replace this with. For example, I think one of the great um, things right now that would be com semi-comparable, it will be the Karigami set. I don't have that one, it's on my wish list, and I probably should get it before it gets discontinued, which I doubt it, but with Louis Vuitton, you never know. Um, they're pretty much the same size, although a lot of people are converting the largest size of the Karigami set into a purse. So don't be surprised that that would happen too. The toiletry also, I think that the fact that a lot of people are, like I mentioned before, turning it into a purse, um, and that Louis Vuitton is trying to push their leather pieces. As you know, they um, recently launched the, and I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong, but um, the Cousine, Cousine? C 
cuisine, I think it's cuisine, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. If not, I'm going to put a picture here, uh, which is pretty similar in size, I think, or style um, to the toiletry. So that just, you know, could be all theories. We don't know. Um, but the other thing is like if you have the 15, um, something that is very comparable will be the um, pochette accessories. In my opinion, I think that you can um, hold more items in the 15. They are very comparable in size. However, like I said, the toiletry 15, you can put a little bit more. Um, here I have a bunch of items. We're not gonna go through that. I'm gonna do a different video so we can compare the sizes. Um, but like I said, what is going to happen in the future as far as having something to replace this, we don't know. Um, they might come up with something completely different and at a higher price point, maybe not even in canvas, as we know, Keep repeating myself um louis vuitton is pushing more leather pieces and they're kind of you know not producing a lot of canvas items uh, the one say the one thing i want to say is that what i've heard is that all the items all the toiletries were removed from the website so that means that Louis Vuitton still has some inventory. So don't be surprised if you start seeing this floating around again um, during the holiday. Just like we experienced last year with the favorite bags with the PM and the um, MM where they were discontinued and then what they found a lot um, of bags in the... Uh, I guess distribution center or I, I don't know but long story short um, a lot of people were able to get them so I have the feeling that they might do one last drop throughout the holidays and just like many many of us um, they're gonna be you know those that either missed out completely or they're hoping to complete the trifecta like myself which now i'm missing the 19. do i need it no do i want it yes um so i really want to get it to see if that's something that could live in my collection and be something that i can actually use um and if not i can always i can always return it if i get it or i could sell it i'm not into making a lot of profit into things to be honest right now the toiletries are selling for probably over than double on all the pre-love luxury websites and eBay. So if you really want to get your hands into one of these, don't lose hope. Um, if not, you can go into the pre-love route. You might have to pay a premium for it, but this is an item that, like I said, now is going to be a collectible. For me, it has a special uh, meaning to it because I always wanted it and I completely adore and admire Princess Diana and to me having a piece that she carried, um, I don't know, just makes it very, very special. So that's it. That's, it. that's all the tea uh, regarding the toiletries, um, you know, um, 19, 26 and 15 being discontinued. Um, if you hear or know anything else, please spill the tea right down on the comment section below. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.